Attorney's Office reviewed the shootings at the request of Clay County. Producers in Minnesota and North Dakota could be in trouble if China's proposed soybean tariff is enacted. WDAY6 reporter Nick Broadway explains how it affects more than just farmers. China's latest move in the so-called trade war is hitting close to home for northern farmers. This has been a sequence of events that have evolved. After the Trump administration laid down the law on intellectual property, China threatened a 25% penalty to imports of American soybeans. It is significant. It's a large portion of our trade volume. Monty Peterson, an area farmer and vice chair of the U.S. Soybean Export Council, says this could start hurting our local economies this year. We have to understand that uh, China is a huge trading partner. And China, in fact, has imported more U.S. soy um, uh, on an annual basis than all other countries combined. In the 2016 market year, almost 250 million bushels of soybeans were harvested in North Dakota. Asia imported at least 70% of those bushels, worth roughly $1.5 billion. On the Minnesota side, about $2.1 billion were exported, with China as the top market. Minnesota U.S. Senator Tina Smith told ag leaders in Moorhead she's worried about how President Trump is dealing with the heated tariff exchange. I am um, going to take a hard look at what the president has proposed. I think it is very very important that we avoid an all-out trade war. I think that's bad for everybody. With pork and other commodities on China's radar, she wants to keep greater Minnesota out of the trade war mix. Minnesota is a significant producer of both soybeans and wheat, and those are caught up in these proposed tariffs. Senator Smith says trade is good, but it has to be a fair trade that works for everybody. Nick Broadway, WDAY 6 News. Minnesota and North Dakota account for about a quarter of the U.S.'s soybean exports. Senator Smith is taking local producers' suggestions on the upcoming farm bill. At this meeting in Moorhead today, crop insurance, retaining young farmers, and the need to import labor were some of the biggest concerns. The senator says she wants the new farm bill to keep sugar beet programs intact, add strong nutrition programs, and improve rural development. She says she'll fight to make sure greater Minnesota is taken care of. This is her first visit to Moorhead since she replaced Senator Franken. Preparing for the Fargo Marathon races. Up next on W.